Hello Tipros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvendril. In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version for a Dell Optiplex 3020 as you can see over here. So I have done a video in the past on which I show how to download the correct BIOS version or drivers for the machine you have using a service stack. So you can click on the top right of this screen for that video. After you have the file, which is an, an, an EXE, you have to copy that to a USB flash drive. The size doesn't matter, can be two, three, um, 32 gigabytes. What it's important is that your flash drive has to be FAT32. Its format has to be FAT32, okay? Once you have that, once you have copied the upgrade file for the BIOS, you connect it to any available port on your machine, like, like I'm doing right here. So once that's done, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm going to turn on the machine and right away, I'm going to start pressing F12 uh, on the keyboard, as you can see me doing right there. So we are going to go to the boot menu for this machine. <clears throat> After a few seconds, it's going to show us this screen. You can see my hard drive there where the operating system is installed and a lot of our options. We have to go to BIOS flash update, as you can see over there. We click enter, we press enter, and we're going to see this screen. So here it's going to, it's, it's telling us the system is the Dell Optiplex 3020 and the current version is A19. So that's the current BIOS version, okay? So next we're going to click on the three dots at the top right over here. I'm going to do it with my keyboard and it's going to open the uh, USB flash drive. If you have more USB flash drive connector, connected or more uh, partitions, you have to click on, fist, on file system to look for the one that you need. So in this case, this is the only one that is connected. And this is the um, BIOS update file. So as you can see, it says 3020A20.exe. Now, that means the version is A20. Now we're going to select it like that. The selection is over there and we're going to click OK. So next, it's going to freeze for a few seconds and it's going to show us this overview. So that's the file for the BIOS update, Dell Optiplex 3020. A20 is the new BIOS update. And what we have right now is A19. Once we've done that, we, we are going to begin flash update. So here it's telling us that we don't, we don't have to shut down our computer. We don't have to disconnect the power. Otherwise, our computer is going to be unusable or maybe unusable, okay? So do we want to proceed? Yes. So here you don't have to press anything the computer is going to restart and it's going to show us this updating your uh, system firmware do not power down your system so while we are waiting this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet that really helps my channel a lot so thank you thank you very much now this process takes it depends on the model to be honest since this system is old it's going to take around six minutes or so that's what it took the video is sped up in this part so you don't have to wait all the real time as you can see it's going up very quick and when it finishes it says BIOS update successful rebooting your system so you don't have to do anything I'm going to start pressing F2 this is not needed I just want to show you that it was successful so I'm going to press F2 and it's going to take us to the BIOS menu the Optiplex 3020 and we have to go to system information and now on the right is going to load more uh, more information as you can see BIOS version is now A20 it has been successful and a lot of information about the machine itself so we press escape and you, the booting process is going to continue for Windows or Linux or any operating system that you may have. So, and that's how you upgrade the BIOS for this Optiplex model. Now, maybe you want to watch one of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.